Hi Virgo, this is your November 8th through November 14th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, business, finances, and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe, and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Nine of Cups and we have the Two of Cups. We have the Three of Wands clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So um, we have the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So this tells me that this uh, relationship was kind of put on pause. Somebody was stalling. Somebody had uh, to take some time off. Somebody was not sure. Or perhaps you Virgo had more than one person uh, interested in you, right? And uh, you were trying to make a decision with the Seven of Cups. And it looks like uh, you will make a decision this week or there will be a breakthrough. If this relationship was put on pause, then this relationship is moving forward this week. Um, we have the Nine of Cups, the first card on the left. This is a card of wish come true. So your wish is coming true with this person. Perhaps you've been wishing and hoping for this type of a relationship for a very long time. So here it is. The next card over is the Two of Cups. It's one of the best cards when it comes to love, period. Uh, to me personally, this is a card when two people are on the same page and the feelings are mutual. So finally, you're uh, coming together with this person. And uh, the Two of Cups is also a soulmate card, so this person might as well be your soulmate. Um, and uh, the next card over is the Three of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So the Three of Wands is my uh, decision has been made card. Somebody is making up their mind, probably you Virgo, about this person, about this situation. And uh, the decision is to move towards the Ten of Cups. Pentacles energy. Ten of Pentacles is a card of a very stable and a committed relationship. Some people call the Ten of Pentacles the marriage card, right? So it's all coming together this week. I know Virgo, you like things um, to progress gradually. I'm not blaming you. It's just the way uh, most of Virgos like it. And that's exactly how this uh, story is unfolding. If, if um, you were not 100% sure about this relationship with the Seven of Cups or if you were still making a decision then uh, this person must have been patiently waiting for you because uh, here you are gradually uh, taking steps towards um, this committed relationship and I really do believe that this is up to you because with the three of ones right there this is you making a decision about this relationship moving towards a committed relationship all right, so um, yeah, whoever this person you're dealing with, um, they are, I think, very patient. It could be another earth sign or they're just really in love with you, right? Because uh, Two of Cups is there for a reason. This is um, unconditional love or a soulmate love, right? And uh, the two of you are coming together. The two of you are getting on the same page here. So, yep, yeah, this looks great. We have uh, stability here with the Ten of Pentacles, just the way you like it. And we also have lots of emotions with the Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups. So, congratulations, Virgo. Virgo, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person, and we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only, because that's what people are interested in the most. Virgo, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Teal Ones, we have the Moon clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we also have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. So there's lots of Pentacles here. This is your energy, Virgo. So I think you're the one making some kind of a decision here with the Teal Ones right there, the first card on the left. And um, something has been really bothering you with the Moon card. And uh, the, the Moon card is all about fears, it's all about um, something is bothering you, it's all about emotions, uh, you're afraid of the unknown, you don't know what's going to happen, or you just have your doubts about uh, perhaps taking this relationship to the next level because the Moon is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is a committed relationship card, very stable 
relationship type of a deal and uh, it's often called uh, marriage card. So I think um, this uncertainty is surrounding this uh, relationship status. Are we taking it forward or not? Are we going to propose or not? Are we going to move in together or not? Are we going to work on this relationship or not? So this is what's happening here. This is uh, what the decision is being made about with the two old ones. But the good news is that, yep, <laughs> I think, uh, like I said, this is uh, you making this decision. Because we've got lots of pentacles here, unless you're dealing with another earth sign. But I strongly sense uh, your presence here and the, you're the one making the decision. And yeah, you're going to make a decision to move forward. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles right there, this is you, your energy, or you're making this offer um, towards this uh, <clears throat> committed relationship, right? And we also have the Eight of Pentacles uh, on the bottom of the deck. This is you coming to this uh, realization that, yeah, the effort that you will have to put into this relationship will be worth your time, and uh, it's just going to be worth uh, putting a lot of energy into this relationship and um, perhaps you thought that this was going to be a lot of work or even too much work but I think you're coming to the conclusion that it's going to be worth it so you're going to come forward with an offer to work on this relationship or to take this relationship to the next level whatever that level is for you but um, it's going to be very grounded there like I said there's lots of pentacles here lots of groundedness all right Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Virgo, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. We have the High Priestess, we have the Fool, clarified by the Three of Pentacles, we have the King of Swords, and we have uh, the Harfant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with, uh, with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or you could be dealing with a Taurus. So, um, this spread could go either way. It could be you reaching out to them, or it could be them reaching out to you. So um, we have the High Priestess, so that's why um, I'm not 100% sure, because we have this missing piece here, something is hidden. And it could be you hiding something, or it could be them hiding something from you. Every once in a while the High Priestess represents um, someone's intuition, but um, I still think this is something hidden here. And it came out first, so we have this missing piece. And the, like I said, it could be just the fact that we don't know who is who is going to reach out to whom. <laughs> uh, what's on the line here is um, the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. It could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but most likely the Hierophant is all about something traditional. And in this case, it's about a committed relationship. So um, whoever is going to reach out to the other person is going to offer a committed relationship. And besides that, we have the Fool, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. The person making this offer to reconcile will also offer to just uh, work things out and take a leap of faith. You know, there will be a conversation, you will take, um, take a deep look at what happened between the two of you and you'll work it out. You'll at least attempt to work it out and take a leap of faith from that point on. You'll just sort of push the reset button. Once the two of you get on, on the same page, um, once the two of you come to some kind of a compromise with the Three of Pentacles, you, can, you will be able to take this leap of faith um, from the ground zero with the full card. And uh, yeah, the King of Swords right there, this is the person you're dealing with. An air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody who is very direct and very straightforward. And since the King of Swords came out last, so that's why I'm thinking it could also be you reaching out to them. Alright, but um, I think it'll still be up to the person on the receiving end if they want to work it out or not, if they want to reset this uh, relationship, if they want to get into a committed relationship, if they want to take it serious, make it serious. Because I don't really see any reconciliation cards, but yeah, the offer is very serious and it's on the table. Okay, as long as the two of you are willing to sort things out and work it out. Okay, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Virgo, this week. 
Um, we have the Five of Cups, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I'm getting this bittersweet feeling about this. Um, I think I'm connecting to those Virgos who are uh, leaving their job for another job, and it's already a done deal. Um, you already put your two-week notice in, and I think the two weeks are up this week. Um, and uh, you are walking away with the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, but um, the Five of Cups, the first card on the left, this is a card of grieving, and uh, like I said, this is a bittersweet. Yes, your new job will be paying you more with the Nine of Pentacles right there. Um, you will have your finances elevated, leveled up, but perhaps your current or soon to be your old job was just a really good team, you really like the people you work with, yes it wasn't paying as much as the new job, but you really liked it there and uh, you will have a moment of grief, you will have a moment of uh, a bittersweet kind of a, um, whatever was whatever is going on in your head is gonna make you kinda sad, that's what I'm trying to say, you'll be a bit sad but uh, you're still leaving and um, yeah, it happens. We are free to pursue happiness in whatever form that happiness comes towards towards us. And money is also a factor in our lives. And um, yeah, that's what I pretty much have for you here. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Virgo, this week. Um, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But I think the Queen of Pentacles in the spread is you. Virgo, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And what you're not expecting, Virgo, is uh, you're going to surprise yourself <laughs> this week. This spread kind of reminds me of the uh, couple spread, the uh, married or relationship spread I did for you. So this is you, the Queen of Pentacles. You're going to come uh, forward with an offer towards your... Um, boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your significant other. It could play out the other way around, but I have a strong feeling that this is you. Because Virgos, you guys are very um, grounded, you don't like to make any sudden moves, you like things to uh, gradually progress, right? But I think this week you will um, try to seal the deal quickly. With the six of ones right there, the six of ones on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a victory. Perhaps you're not expecting to win, or perhaps you think you, that uh, your offer will get rejected, but nope, you're winning here. <laughs> and uh, you're establishing um, a committed relationship with the four of ones, the first card on the left, right? So the Knight of Pentacles, that is your offer. Uh, you're making this offer and uh, you're winning. You're going to get a positive response. So if you're watching this video and um, if you're thinking to yourself, should I move forward, should I go ahead? Then the answer is absolutely yes, go ahead. Even if you think you're like at 90% of uh, failure probability, still go ahead. Then I think uh, the 10% will be <laughs> prevailing here because the 601s is a card of a victory. Okay, another way I can interpret the spread uh, is you may have some money coming towards you. The Knight of Pentacles could be uh, money, um, it could be dividends, it could be something that you completely forgot about, but here it is, surprise, here comes the money. Okay, so either way this is a positive spread. If something is going to go in your favor, something is going to make you look like uh, you have won. Okay. Virgo, that's what I got for you. Hopefully it resonates. And uh, other than that, have a great week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.